never under, we never like, I didn't come from a family that was like, oh, do you want to be an actor? You could go to acting school. Do you want to be an engineer? You, like, this is how you get into college. We didn't know. I was like filling out college applications. We're Italian American. You know what they think? They say, just go to work. Right. Like there was no, you know, my college. What are you talking about? You go get to work. (laughs) Right. You see, absolutely. I mean, and I, my mom did want us to go to college because she didn't really have the opportunity to, but like, we never like, like I, now, now you see parents of like preteens, like with SAT courses and like all that we did cheerleading and we did softball and I, we were like popular in high school. We went to all the football games. Like I don't, my parents never like sat down and explained financial aid to me. Like we didn't know any of that stuff. So I was applying to colleges, just like filling out the thing and mailing it. Like I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, honestly, that was the, you know, I, I got to tell you, I mean, I've been a child of like the eight, you know, I graduated in 1980 from high school and I yeah. grew up in the city of Rochester and none of my friends went to college. Like nobody yeah. in my entire grade, nobody right, even talked right. about Especially because you were a woman, but even it, more yeah. so, but it was just mm-hmm. not like the way we came right, up. It right. wasn't like, Oh, where are you going to go right. to school? I, right. not, you want to know what we are beauty school. Yep. Yep. Bosey's beauty school, yep, you know, yep, stuff like that. Yep. And of course, no, totally. you know, yeah. And I wanted, obviously wanted better for my kids. And that was, that was like that. my mom. I think my mom did like a year of junior college. And then she was like, why would I pay for this? I can make so much money waitressing. And she made, my mom used to kill it. Waitressing tips after tips. She was like the waitress. In well, your mother's stunning. And then now, now she owns her own, you know, yeah, she's great. My mom's the best. She's nuts, but she's great. Yeah. She knows she's nuts though. But so it's yeah, a little bit I better. mean, our mothers if you are know very you're similar absolutely crazy. Enough. It's a little better. Yep. Yep. Well, your mom was a stunner too. Yes. A stunner. Our mothers were, you know, this like, just, I mean, she sends me this picture of her mother. She's like in this full fur coat. I'm oh, like, Ricky, oh, it's my mother That's too. Like your I mean, mom. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. See, I've seen two pictures of Cindy's mom and I think they're all in fur. She's wearing like a matching <laughs> tracksuit with like a fur coat or something. <laughs> I love it. It's true. It's true. I had my, um, (laughs) I did my maternity like photo shoot with my friend yesterday. And uh, one of the things I was home and my mom gave me this necklace. She's like, you might want to use this necklace for your shoot. If you saw this thing, you could see it from Times Square. Like it's (laughs) like a triangle collar, like all jewel. She's like, you might, you know, just grab this. You might need this My for your I was like, oh, no, I'm fucking jewelry. Definitely gonna I need this. I was like, where'd you even pull this out of? <laughs> like. I think my More mother has like shit. five safe deposit boxes to hold all that shit she's got. And it's, I'm not saying my mother sold Avon. So she has every piece of gaudy jewelry, right? right. right? The rings and she has, you know, she did sell, um, you know, better jewelry. So she has, you know, some better stuff, but my mother, that costume jewelry, she is like the queen of all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, it's all absolutely. Oh my, she's got every, Every they're all monochrome. She's got a red set, a green set, a blue set, a clear set. A, and if the jacket's blue, she's like, "Let me just find out." I'm like, "This is too much yes, glass." The matching this is too much glass jewelry. jewelry. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's crazy. Like it's just skipped. It, it skipped the rest of the generations. <laughs> Absolutely, we went through that. We went through that though. That like, um, I don't know how old you are, Lauren, but we went through the that. Remember those the J Crew necklace on top of the sweater the thing? Statement necklace. So, yes. Yeah, the statement necklace. <laughs> yes. We went through that a little bit. Like it was like yeah. if you wore a blue sweater, you wore like a blue beaded necklace for like like twenty eleven for like a little bit. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, this stuff is like I mean, this thing would blind you if you saw it. And I was like, I don't think I ever need a picture in this, but I love you. So thank you for offering it to me. <laughs> like I'll make sure to bring it back at Christmas. <laughs> Like, well, your baby shower pictures uh, are adorable. Thank you. We and had so you much fun. Look, your dress was so freaking I got cute. that at ASOS. It was, it was adorable. I love that little dress. It Thanks. was so perfect thank on you. a little pregnant body. Well, you know on what I mean? Little, like right, it just, right. it looked amazing. Yep. yep. And it's it not even great. maternity. It was just a little trapeze dress. No, got it, it one size so bigger. Cute. So it. cute. And uh, yeah, we had a good time. All Marty the family was in your city, which is always a. Oh, the family coming to New York City is always a a trip without the luggage, if you will. 
um it is we had a really good time it was really fun they're all crazy we'll do the big the big you know you do that you must do the Cindy, the big Christmas, the fishes and the YouTube well, thing. Oh yeah, you know, not so much now because um my you know, my my Italian grandmother since she passed, she was the matriarch. And uh so it's it's just it's not really the same. And my dad does go to uh Florida and my mom's boyfriend, who she was with 35 years, very Italian. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah, but we used to, but I will be going to one of my best friend, high school friends Christmas Eve and my, nice. my mom and her mom grew up together. Oh so my God, they're fun. like, you know, we're all cousins, you know how it goes. Right. It's yeah, exactly. We're cousins, cousins, right? It's all my, yeah. you know, Everybody's my kids, saying. godmother, their godmother. Right. God, I'm godmother I don't, you ever, you ever find that curious? You ever find that curious in like, why? Why couldn't we ever just be like, we're going to the neighbors, we're going to friends. Like it was always like, oh, it's my cousin. It's my cousin. And it's my cousin. Like it was only worthy if it was a family member. You couldn't right. just be like, we're going to a friend's. It was like, no, no, no it's my cousin. And, and everybody's whole- aunt. Yeah. Your yeah. baby's yeah. going to call me Aunt Cindy. So as a Southern, no, no. we grew up <laughs> um, the same way in the South. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, really? Like, not Italian, just Irish Catholic, but right. and maybe it's so just as guilty, too, but like everybody was aunt. Like I had yeah. Aunt Cindy and I had, I had a godmother yeah. and I feel like I live in the Midwest now. And I feel like, yeah, I'm like my godmother, like not my fairy yeah. godmother, but like the person yeah. that right. takes me if I, my parents. Right. Die. Right. <laughs> yeah. They're like, you don't, they're like, you're 30. You don't, no one takes you anymore. You, you take, you no, 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 my nanny. And we called her nanny. Like she's going to take care of me. <laughs> Like, Do you oh, know my that my, my aunt still signs the card? You're a godmother. I'm like, what? yeah, I never. I love my godmother. That's one so of funny. you know, one of my daughter's godmother, my youngest daughter's godmother. That's what they call her, nanny. Mm-hmm. That's it. ours. That's were all funny. nanny, but yeah, like all my parents' friends were like aunt and uncle. I was like, oh, I don't know yeah. how to explain them other than they're my cousins. Yeah. They're not. And then, and then you got to like college and you met people and you're like, oh, this is my aunt. And they'd be like, that's your mom's sister. You'd be like, no, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> My mom's sister. They're like, well, you just said aunt. And you're like, what? <laughs> who's who's keeping track of this family tree? Because but I, I'm going to all- tell you, my my I had a friend like um like the little kids. They're not, you know, my friend's kids were all call me aunt. And they were like, why? Why are they calling you aunt? Like, that's you're not their aunt. Like, that's annoying. And I'm like, you don't understand. That's a respect thing. Right, right. No, it's it's funny that you say that. So my, uh, I say my nieces and nephews. Really, it's mm-hmm. my cousins' kids, yeah. actual cousins at least, right. at mm-hmm. least. Right. But um, this past uh, one of them, the oldest baby, she's the light of our family. She's the angel. The rest are terrorists. Um, she said to me, uh, she's you know learning in school, family tree, like yeah. the actual thing. So we're sitting there. This was this past summer, and she says, Aunt Timo you know, you're not really my aunt. And I said, Oh, well, what do you mean? That sounds kind of fucking hurtful. And she's like, uh, well, no, because aunt Mamie's my aunt, you know, not her, her mom's actual sister. And then you're actually my cousin and you're my mom's cousin. So that means you're my second cousin. I said, listen, I know what you're getting at. I get it. I said, but it's like a respect thing. I said, exactly what you said, Cindy. I said, this is a I said, it's a cultural thing. And I was trying mm-hmm. to explain. And then she understood it. She's she's freaking smarter than I ever thought of being. But she's, you know, she she's only nine and she gets it. Like, she was like, oh, I see. So like, and I was like, so culturally, it's like, if you, you know how you call the neighbor, Mr. Whatever, like, it's like a, a respect thing. You say yep. aunt and uncle, because yep. it's like, you're saying you mad. But in Italian though, if it's really your aunt, like in, in my, they say see ya. Oh, you do? See, they, my daughters say see ya to the real yeah, ones yeah, on yeah, the yeah, Italian yeah. side. But yeah, but it's funny because all my high school friends, we all grew up together. We all had our kids together and they're all aunt. So yeah. now when we're at the restaurant, this is our, our lives are so fucking ridiculously yeah. parallel. So Absolutely. my ex-husband has a restaurant and the kids, you know, my kid runs it. Now Alex yeah. is in the city, no longer there, but Marissa runs it. So all my high school friends, we all go there. We all hang out. And everybody at the bar, Marissa will be like, oh, that's my Aunt Jody. That's my Aunt Dolores. And everyone's yes. like, Rosario has all these sisters and Alexis. Right. And they immediately like, think, yep. No, those are my aunts. Like, they don't. Right. Have- like, it has nothing to do with being my mom's sister. It's respect. Or my dad's sister. That's just what it is. Yeah. It's so bizarre. Yeah. No, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly how it is in our family. And we have the, uh, <clears throat> we have the restaurant as well. My parents have a banquet hall. So they do weddings, parties, special events. So if you ever need to get married in the Utica or New Hartford area, Valentino's Banquet Hall, this is my plug. 
<laughs> Valentino's. It's so, it, oh my God. You can, the Utica greens. Yep. Yep. Chicken yep. riggies. Yep. All of it. Yum. I can't wait to eat when I get home. Utica <laughs> has the fucking the bomb food. diggity the food, food. Like they All are literally a little town is known for their greens, which my girlfriend's obsessed with. And she oh, makes them so homemade good. here now. So good. My she mom used to make them when we were little. Now yeah. we only get them at the restaurant. What, right, but we don't have, we only have one place here, Delmonico's, to get the greens. Oh, really? Utica greens. Yeah, nobody else serves them, so we make our own. Oh, but so chicken good. riggies, uh, yep. uh, you know, we have Wegmans here. And they do uh, it. You, you had Weg, you have Wegmans at home, but they have canned chicken riggy sauce now. I was like, what's going what? on? Utica chicken riggy oh, sauce. Oh, my God. My poor grandmother must be rolling in her grave. She, if it's in a can, God forbid. Yeah. So every so, so often, I'll, 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 I'll admit this for the sake of the podcast. Every so often, if I'm in a rush, I'll use the Rayos. Oh, I know, love that sauce. Like the I'm sauce. sorry. Their, their Arabate is amazing, yeah. though. Like, it's quick. I, it's put it, I, I make pizza with that Whatever. Sauce. Right. Like something, exactly. Or if you're making, say you're making stuffed peppers yep. and you're just like, I don't need to boil down a two hour pot of sauce. Yep. And I have to, I have to rinse the jars out and throw them out, like hide them. Like if my mom, you know, like I can't. My girlfriend, if she catches it. me putting any of that sauce yeah. in, yeah. she will, I go, honey, she just it. try it. I go, this is a yeah, $10 like, jar it's of quick. sauce. It's just quick. It's just, She's, yeah, it's like, get that shit I'm not out of here. saying exact. I'm like, I'm not saying it's better than yours. I'm not saying I prefer it. It's but just I'm sometimes. Not joking. Some jarred sauces are fucking amazing. And Rose is the best. Yeah. I love their uh, spicy sauce. It's anybody yep. get it and make a pizza with that spicy sauce yes. on it. It's yes. the fucking bomb. I'm coming um, to Rochester for pickle pizza. So that's oh, yeah, all I want are. in my life. Yeah, but you know, I love I'm, coming, as I'm coming back in January. You'll just be heading right towards the end of that pregnancy. Oh um, I, I will. I'm going to make a par bake one and like bring it, and then you just finish it in the oven. Oh my god, you could do that. That would work. Oh yeah, it works. I, you know what I do for oh, my Alexa? My I god. make smalls. Small, oh I, like I, I par bake the crust and I right. make them and then I spray right. and I freeze them. Oh them. my smart. daughter! Oh my god. Them. Do that so then I can feed myself when I have to when I have a baby. <laughs> I was I'm kind of nervous about Timo having this baby, <laughs> but I feel like she's it's got a be, lot of people around her. I got a lot of good and people. She's got and Marty, um, which he you yeah. know. He's more scared than me, I think. I'll be fine with a baby. I, I think swear. you're gonna be okay. I'm not even scared of the motherhood part. This pregnancy shit is for the birds. This mm-hmm. I can't do. This, like, I, I don't like feel I'm active. I'm energetic. I like being out in the world. I don't like all of a sudden vomiting, all of a sudden having heartburn, all of a sudden I got to go to the bathroom, all of a sudden I got to, I, I want more control over my own body, but the kid part stick it on my hip. Let's go. We got to go get, do a show or something. You know, it's but gonna I'm be gonna like on the front of me for voiceover auditions. I'm like, the baby's asleep. Can I come now for my audition? <laughs> but you know what? T- but I got to tell you for somebody who's pregnant, this bitch does more stuff than I ever do. <laughs> I'm like, T, I keep moving. I'm like, T, I'm coming in Thursday night for a show. She's like, oh, I'm going to a concert. But I'm like, what the fuck? Are you pregnant? Like, she's like, I'm going to see if I, oh, maybe we can grab dinner. She's everywhere. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm I making like, this Are you child. even pregnant? <laughs> That's why the baby's so active. I think it gets a lot of different experiences. She's at concerts. <laughs> she went to. She was. I'm watching a comedy show on TV, and I was like, "Oh, I'm excited." Ricky Valdez. She's like, "Oh, I went to that taping." Yeah, I went to that taping. It was so good. He did. I yeah. haven't watched it. Yet. I haven't watched. Oh my god, he's really, really funny. He's friends I with. To, I used to listen to a podcast that he was on. Oh, he's great. He's friends with my hairstylist, and my hairstylist was going, and he was like, "You want to go to Ricky's taping?" And I was like, "Yes, I'll go." And then uh, we actually, we went to Ali Wong's taping too. She was so funny. Her new stuff is so funny. I can't wait till that comes out. Her new Lisa, stuff I about her husband. I was myself in the head for oh not going to see her when I, I was, was there. Crying. It was the same week. Yes, I remember. We were all there. And I asked you to hang out and you're like, I'm going to Ali. And I, you know, my husband I, randomly got tickets. I wasn't even, he was like, oh, I got tickets. I think because he loves the beacon. We used to live right near the beacon. So we were, he was like, oh, let's go. Oh my God. I regret not seeing her. And I'm going to tell you another regret. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sebastian was just here last week. And you didn't go. I didn't go. And I've never seen him live actually. Teresa. Did you, have you seen him live? 
yeah, I have seen them live here before, but this time around, of course, all the Gumbadis were there. Every right, right, it's Rochester, right. you know, right, when, right, right. when Sebastian comes to Rochester, yeah. it's like fucking. It's the same thing when he goes to Utica. He goes to Turning Stone near yep. Utica.